so there's my destination. I've come back to the furthest back pond at the wildlife management area of Myrtle Grove Seven Ponds. I'm out here, I'm hoping to get a pickerel. Again, still on a little bit of a quest to catch a pickerel. Let's find out if we do it. If you saw my video from last week about my desire to catch a pickerel, you know what I'm using. Piece of split shot, tin, couple of beads, a little Colorado blade spinner, a little drop shot hook, and a little gulp <laughs> black minnow shad. We're gonna use that. We might catch some other fish on it. Nothing seems to bite. We'll start throwing a Christmas tree grub. Might have to wake the fish up a little bit, make some noise. No, did I do it? No, that's a large mouth. No, that's a little large mouth. No, a very small large mouth. Let him go. The pond has got a good growth of weeds underneath of it supplying oxygen to the fish. I'm trying to skirt this bait right over top of it. I think that's a crappie. There we go. Fish number two, species number two, a nice little size. Look at the mouth on that crappie. The mouth on that guy. Nice little black crappie here. At seven ponds. Still not my desired species, but it's two fish. Like I said, I'm just trying to skirt it over top of the weeds. Okay, there's a fish. And that's another largemouth. We'll boat flip him. That's a better largemouth. Still not my desired species. Cast over there. That's another large mouth. Just kick my bait off right there. Come here, buddy. It's three large mouths and a crappie. Gotta put another bait on. All right, so real quick, public service announcement pet peeve call it whatever you wish I just put on the last one of those little gulp minnows so the package is empty I'm going to take it home with me I see way too many bait containers especially from worms sitting on the sides of lakes please take your trash with you please take your trash with you that's another crappie Same bait. Right there in the bottom of the lip. Smaller crappie. Back in the water. My fifth fish. Still not my desired species. That's got some heft to it. 
that's my pickerel. That's my desired species right there. Yes, sir. That's the desired species. And it's off. Ah! Ah! Try again. I hope I don't get just one bite of those today. <clears throat> that was it. I could tell. I could tell. I saw a shape. I knew it wasn't a largemouth. I knew it was a pickerel. It was the one. I think it's another large mouth. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Small little large mouth for fish number six. Definitely not my pickerel. Ugh. Still can't believe I missed that. Okay, so some of you might be saying, so what's with the pickerel? Why does he want to catch a pickerel? Why does he want to do that? And really, the only reason I can say is, it's because I don't get to catch them very often. I catch them sometimes when I go down to St. Mary's Lake. I catch them sometimes on the eastern shore. I catch them here at Seven Ponds. I just enjoy catching them. They're fun. Some people would say they're a trash fish. They're, they're you know, all kinds of stuff like that. I'm not taking it home to eat. I'm just trying to come out and seeing if I can catch one. It's just a specific target that I want to try to get. Just like I want to get that popper out of that tree right there. All right, so if you fish seven ponds and you lost this little popper, let me know, I'll get it back to you. It's tied on with braid. It must have just broke off in that tree limb. If it's yours, let me know. I'll give you about two weeks or so. I'll send it to you. We'll tuck it down there. And go back to fishing. Okay, something small. But I think it's my desired species. Yes, it is. We're getting this one in the boat this time. We're gonna get this one in the boat. He's not the biggest, but he's a pickerel. Come here, buddy. Oh, don't knock him off, David. There we go. We got him. Desired species. Not the biggest. Not the biggest pickerel in the world, but we can call it success. Yes, sir, the one I came for. Not anywhere close to the size of the one I lost. Again, for me, it's not the size of the fish that I catch that's important. It's just that I catch fish. Today was about trying to come out here and catch a pickerel. I lost a nice size one right at the boat, but then I caught that little one. It might have been 12 inches long, but it was my target species and I caught it. So now all the fishing I do here the rest of the time, it's bonus. I mean, those six fish that I caught before, they were bonus. I got my target species. Now let's just have some more fun. Whatever fish this is just hit it right at the boat. I didn't even get a chance to see what it was. Large mouth. Yeah, that's our fifth largemouth of the day. Bait right there in the corner of his mouth. Right at the boat. Right at the boat. Must have been following it. No, oh, that's a better pick roll. There we go. That's what I was really coming for. One that size. He just thumped it. Don't jump. Don't jump. You're going to be released. Yeah, there we go. You just splash some water in my mouth. Yuck. 
yeah there we go nope 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 calm down keep you in the net keep you calm keep my hands away from that mouth too there we go a little better fish hook right there in the corner of the mouth comes out just like that now my hands are gonna smell kind of slimy little what maybe 14 inches maybe I lied 17 inches target species thanks for coming guy thanks for coming okay so again I've had success I came down here looking for pickerel I've caught two I've got five largemouth I've also caught two crappie that's three different species now it's time to see if I can go for a slam I want to see if I can get a panfish of some sort like a bluegill maybe a red ear pumpkin seed one of those so I'm switching tactics I'm going to the Christmas tree grub on a little 1 16th ounce jig I'm gonna cast it out I'm gonna spend about a half hour maybe 45 minutes seeing if I can complete the slam that was the lightest hit ever by a fish of that size it barely hit it but it's like a 10 or 11 inch crappie Twelve inch crappie. Barely even felt it. Again, looking for a bluegill. Already caught a crappie. Like my third one of the day. Looking for a bluegill. Looking for a red ear. Okay. So that's it for today. What began as a quest to catch pickerel was accomplished and it became a bonus of trying to catch a slam didn't get it I only caught another crappie with that Christmas tree grub I ended up with let me think about it five bass three crappie two pickerel that's ten fish I'd say it's a pretty good morning sometimes you just want to go out there and you want to catch fish it's just about getting like I say tight lines sometimes you want to focus on your fishing you want to focus on a species that's what we started as today either way it was fun do me a favor click that like button hit subscribe if you haven't take your trash with you guys and until next time Tight lines. Like I said, guys, take your containers with you.